And uh, in this section, we can start uh, learning a little bit more about algorithms. So first question, what is an algorithm and data structures? So an algorithm is basically a set of instructions that you have written to accomplish a task. It's nothing more than that. So basically just some instructions that you have written down, it's just like a recipe, basically. Um, so you have that recipe written down and you follow it step by step to achieve a solution. So an algorithm can be as simple as the instructions to get the grocery. For example, you can write an algorithm for grocery um, like this, to get grocery like this. You can create the grocery list, you can drive down to grocery store, fill your cart with the items uh, that, that are there in your grocery list, pay for the items, and then you're done. Similarly, in computer science, when you tell your computer to basically do something, you tell it step-by-step -step instructions, and it executes them to accomplish a goal. Now, don't get confused this with the, um, with the machine learning and all these other things that are going on. Machine learning follows the similar pattern. So in, in general, any computer program that you have seen follows the general pattern of following the step-by-step -step instructions. The way your regular program is different from machine learning program um, is basically machine learning works on some mathematical concepts. So the, out, the output of the program becomes the input until machine itself learns basically how that output is shaping up, okay? And it checks for different conditions and stuff like that. And it's a whole uh, different set of algorithms and we can actually uh, talk about like, you know, machine learning algorithms later on in another section, but we're another uh, video course, not a section, but another video course because it's like a, a rather large topic. but uh, in essence, uh, it also uh, follows the same structure as all the other programs in the world, computer programs in the world follows. So the basics stays the same, all right? So that's a real simple way to understand how algorithms, uh, what algorithms are, okay? Now, let's say like, you know, uh, that's the algorithm, but you would wonder like, you know, are algorithms and data structures same? Are they different? So data structures is basically the way to store data in the computer. So that's the basically the way you save your data that can be accessed and modified efficiently. So you structure data in such a way where it's stored for easy access and for easy storage. Uh, for example, let's say if you're storing data into um, memory, you wanna make sure you, that you don't store that data multiple times, all right? Because your memory is gonna get full, like, you know, if you store them in multiple different uh, variables, although it's the same value, okay? So it's just like a really naive example, but like, you know, just, just know that data structure is a way to store data in computer memory, okay? And it's basically the, the study of data structure of or, or study of storing data into the computer memory is basically just a study of learning how you can easily store it to, um, how you can easily store it to access it efficiently later on. Okay, so the main idea is to reduce the space needed to store the data and reduce the time, uh, reduce the time it takes to access the data back for it to be used. Okay, so space needed to store data is defined by space complexity and time needed to uh, access the data is defined by time complexity, all right? So space needed to store data is space complexity. How complex it's gonna be, like, you know, or how much time it's gonna take to, uh, how much space it's gonna take to store this data. And time is basically how much time it's gonna take to access this data back, all right? So many data structures uh, are available uh, that can be used individually or combined uh, to become a solution for you which is fast, meaning it takes less time to execute and needs less space to store data in it. 
right? So it's unique to your problem. So data structures is unique to your problem. And it always works that way where you actually combine different data structures, different primitive data structures to build a solution that works for your problem, right? So hope that is clear, the difference between the algorithms and the data structures.